Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and these are some of the books that I am anticipating in January of 2024. So I want to implement something new in the new year. Um, I really want to make a anticipated video every month. Like in January, I will post my most anticipated books coming out in February. Um, and I think I would also really love to vlog like throughout the month, the ones that I choose to pick up and post that vlog at the end of the month. We'll see if that actually goes through. Like I have always these grand plans at the beginning of the year when it comes to my content. And sometimes they stick and sometimes they don't. So we'll see if this one sticks. But these are some books that I found online that come out in January of 2024 that sound really good. I don't think I'm gonna be reading all of these, no stinking away. Um, but I hope with this list, you have found, you will find some books that you are interested in that come out in January. So I'm gonna be going in release order. The first one that I have that comes out on January 1st is Playmaker by Avery Keelan. This is a single dad where he is a hockey player, an NHL hockey player, and it's also a nanny romance because this is his romance with the nanny of his kids. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, I love that. I want that so badly. And apparently they're like friends, but they don't want to cross that boundary. Okay, but then, but then it happens. It's inevitable. It's inevitable with a nanny romance. I'm a sucker for nanny romances, hockey romances. So when they come together, recipe for an amazing time. Next I have The Spell Broken King by J.A. Keaton. This one comes out on January 2nd. Celeste is our heroine in here. She's a 27 year old human who's a bartender. I think her stalker in this book ends up framing her for a crime she didn't commit and she has to like run away. And this is her romance with a bounty hunter who's like a long lost prince who is also her fated mate. Like amazing buzzwords. Next I have Borgaz. I'm not a fan of that name honestly by Honey Phillips. This is the first book in her new series. It looks like very similar to Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers. Um, I think the series is How the Aliens Were One. Apparently he's a grumpy alien. She's a stubborn human. Their picture though, the cover looks like that, um, that iconic farm picture. You know what I mean? Like that farm picture. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So I, I started laughing when I saw this cover. So this sounds somewhat similar to like the plot line in Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers. You have a group of ex-alien soldiers who just want to find a home for themselves. So I think the hero, Borgaz and his friend end up like forming this sanctuary for former soldiers in a farm community in like the middle of nowhere. And I think it's a farm that Mary, the heroine of this book used to own and she's gonna help fix up the farm with them. So I just love Honey Phillips and I really did love The Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers and the sounds very similar to that. Spur of the Moment by Carly Brenna is next. I saw this cover and I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. yes. This one comes out on January 4th. This one's about Letty who comes back to her family ranch in Bell Buckle and has no intent on staying, but she's only there long enough to figure out where to land next. And this is a romance with Bailey Cooper. And he knows for sure that Letty is the girl he's going to marry. He knows that for certain. I love that. I love a man who's like completely certain this one is mine. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna make it happen. Say less. Whispers of the Deep by Emma Hamm is the first book in the Deep Water series she's coming out with. I love Emma Hamm's books. I have a few of her books over there. That one right there is like the one displayed for her. Um, this one looks like a mermaid book. Yeah, duh. I'm gonna read it. This one comes out on January 7th. On January 11th, I have Since Day One by R.L. Atkinson. This one I think is also like a cowboy ranch romance. Willow ends up returning to her small town in Wyoming for a family reunion and then an unexpected cowboy with his own mysterious history rides into her life. I've just been a sucker for cowboy romances like many other people out there so. I've gotten hooked onto Sarah Blue books in 2023 so a new one that comes out on the 12th is Nobody's Darlin which is I think a motorcycle club Omega verse one. That's all I know about it. Motorcycle clubs, Omegaverse. I want to get more into Omegaverse books in 2024. Um, and I think I'm meeting Sarah Blue at some point next year. So this one sounds really fun. Years Between You by Miranda Melanie is next. Look at this cute cover. Okay. This is the first book in the When We Shouldn't series. This one comes out also on January 12th. Ooh, yes. Okay. I remember why I really wanted to do this one because it's ex-boyfriend's older brother. 
Okay, she's, she, she gets with her ex-boyfriend's brother. Sounds messy, okay? <laughs> After six years without seeing or hearing from Miles Crest, he's suddenly back. He still lives in town. He's still the kind, caring man he used to be, and he's still not going anywhere. He doesn't want to be anywhere too far from our heroine Autumn at all, actually, but their paths are eager to keep them apart while they find themselves desperate to get closer. He's always been the helping hand she needs, but what is he supposed to do when the problem is the people he's closest to? Ooh, maybe his like brother isn't very happy about that or something. I don't know. Sounds messy. Hail by Anastasia uh, White is next. This one comes out on January 12th. Oh my gosh, yeah, I just saw uh, professional soccer. He's a professional soccer player and she's his daughter's nanny. <laughs> Again, uh, you're gonna give me a nanny romance, I'm gonna read the nanny romance. She becomes the live-in nanny for Hayden after she had to drop out of college to help pay for her sister's medical expenses. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I haven't read a lot of soccer romances and the fact that it's nanny. I'm so excited for that one. I found Something Beautiful by Kate Weaver Smith on Amazon earlier today and it sounds really good. This is a romance, a small town romance, like uh, love after loss book um so both characters have lost their spouse and this is about them finding love all over again so um you don't really read or see a lot of those and so i am very interested in this one this one comes out on january 16th i do have a young adult book on here i don't read a lot of young adult books but this one sounds so good if i ever find a jane airy telling you best believe it's going to be on an anticipated list okay this one comes out on january 16th and it's called escaping mr rochester I think it's a romance, like an, uh, a sapphic romance with Jane Eyre and Bertha Mason. If you don't know who Bertha Mason is, I'm not going to say who it is because I don't want to spoil it. But like, can y'all believe Jane Eyre and Bertha Mason in a young adult romance? Like, I'm sold. I am completely sold on this. The Signature Move by Cassandra Diviac is next. This one is interesting. I just want to say very interesting <laughs> for the character names at least. The hero's name is Logan and the heroine's name is Avery. And it's spelled the way that I spell my name. Not a lot of Averys are spelled the way I spell my name. Guess what my sister's name is? My sister's name is Logan. So it's Avery and Logan. I am interested in reading this book, but this book might give me the ick at points. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes, okay? Okay, so this one comes out on January 17th. The hero Logan is a hockey player and a world champion figure skater named Avery moves into his small town, taking up rink time and scratching the spotlight away from his team. Logan is determined to hate her, yet that becomes more of a challenge than he expected when facing off against a gentle, graceful skater like Ava. Like, <laughs> I think this is really funny though. <laughs> Logan and Avery and then Ava, cause that's her nickname, that's my nickname. I think that is so wild. Like, does this author know my family? <laughs> If so, that'd be so weird. This looks really cute. I love like hockey player. Sorry for all these ears being in shot. <laughs> um, I love hockey player figure skater romances. The re-release of With You Forever by Chloe Lisa comes out with the new cover, it being traditionally published. So I wanted to highlight that. This is Axel and Rooney's story. I love this one. It's one of my favorites in the whole entire series. It's so good. It's a marriage of convenience where Rooney has um, ulcerative colitis, that representation and um, our hero is autistic. I'm just highlighting that it's getting re-released in January at some point. I don't have the re-release date on this Goodreads page. Oh wait, no, it says January 23rd. Never mind. Okay, so January 23rd is the date of this re-release. Next day, I have Guarded by the Snake by Layla Faye. Anything by Layla Faye is going to be on my most anticipated release. I've been really loving her like different monster romance books that she's coming out with. Um, and this one looks like it's a little bit longer than some of our other ones. So I look forward to that. Um, this one comes out on January 24th. Then I have A Burning Ivy by Brandy Hines. This is a dark mafia romance. I read the summary for this one and I was like hooked, okay? This one's about Wells, who is absolutely obsessed with a heroine named Ivy. So Ivy needs a husband to receive her inheritance and he is on the hunt for a wife. And that's all I can say about that. I don't really know what the rest of the summary means um, because it's giving it very vague, but um, it had me hooked for sure. Consider Me Pucked by J.M. Litt is my next one. This one comes out on January 30th. This is a romance where our heroine gets uh, dumped by her boyfriend and her boyfriend gets with a puck bunny. 
And so her solution is to make out with his rival. And I believe it's a fake dating romance with her and this rival to make the ex jealous. Like, say less. Again, I have a lot of hockey romances on this list. I apologize, but I'm not sorry, actually, because I'm in a mood, if you couldn't tell. Irresistible Love by Samantha Chase is next. The first book in the Wilder Love series. I've never read a Samantha Chase book, but I've heard pretty good things. I just read the first line of this and needed it because she's a ballerina. Like I love heroines who are ballerinas. Okay, so this one's about Lily. She experiences a career ending injury. So she returns home to nurse her wounds and figure out what comes next. What she didn't expect was seeing the ruggedly handsome man she impulsively kissed three years ago and the simmering attraction that still burns between them. And that man is Noah. So it sounds really cute. I really was hooked by the cover. This one comes out also on January 30th. Wild For You by Kristen Proby is another new release and the new start to the Wild of Montana series. Another cover that was really pretty to me. And it also comes out on January 30th. Another age gap single dad romance. Those will suck me in, okay? So it's about Remington, who is a single dad to two adorable kids and is the oldest son of the Wild family and has recently taken over their family ranch. Then Eric Montgomery becomes the nanny to his kids. Remington is attracted to his younger nanny and finds himself falling headfirst in love with her. He and his kids have never been happier and he knows she is the perfect addition to their family for as long as she's willing to stay. Hopefully that's forever. Next is The Wraith King by Juliet Cross. This cover is absolutely stunning. I love it. I could stare at it. I want to print it out and frame it on my wall and I've never even read this book. Okay. Um, I've actually also never read a Juliet Cross book. I know, shame on me. I have not yet. Um, but I'm waiting for her like paranormal romance series to come on my Libby and they haven't yet. Like I need them to. This one is a fae fantasy romance and it's about Una Heartstone, princess of Issos, who learns the prince of the Wraith King demands to end the war once and for all, her in exchange for the safety of her people. And so she's gonna give herself and her body to her greatest enemy. That sounds so stinking good. I have not read like a really good fantasy book in a while, in a little bit. Next is Canadian Boyfriend by Jenny Holiday, another hockey romance. Need I say anything else? Also comes out on January 30th. Apparently Aurora and Mike met years ago, I think when they were like teens, and it jumps years later to when Mike is a widower and he has a daughter. And I think that this is about Aurora helping him with his daughter or something. Oh yeah, she teaches kids dance classes. Also, she's in the midst of battling panic and eating disorders. So she's got a lot going on. She, oh, she apparently was also a ballet dancer, but her career ended up not going through. So even though this looks like a cutesy cover, I think there's a lot more going on like deeper emotionally in here. And the last book that I have needs no introduction whatsoever. This is House of Flame and Shadow by Miss Sarah J. Mass. We're all dying for this book. We all want this book. We're all anticipating this book. It comes out on January 30th. We're all gonna be reading this book the day it comes out. Okay. <laughs> if I could take off work, I would to read this book on one day. I would. I need to, <laughs> but I'm not going to. This is the third book in the Crescent City series. We're all dying for this book after the end of the second one because the way the second one ended has you chomping at the bit to figure out what the heck is going on. So I'm dying for this. We're all dying for it. I am so ready. Anyways, there you have it. Those are romance books that are coming out in January of 2024. Let me know down below if you are anticipating any of these as well. And if I didn't talk about some of your anticipated releases, for January, please leave them down below. I would love to add them to this list. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any hockey, <laughs> hockey related emoji. We talked about a lot of hockey books. Any hockey related emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.